Editing the Navbar, a Brightspace tip from the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. To edit your course navbar, you're going to go to the upper right hand corner of the navbar and select the three horizontal dots. When you select that, go ahead and choose Customize this navbar. If this is the first time that you have gone to make changes to this navbar, you're going to be prompted to make a copy of it. Go ahead and select that blue Yes, I'll work with a copy of the navbar option. You'll then be presented with the Edit Navbar screen. From here, you can even change the name if you need to. So I might say this is the Carver Navbar. And then down below, I will see the various links that currently exist on the navbar. If I want to remove one, I simply roll over the icon and select the X in the upper right hand corner of the box. I'm going to go ahead in this case and remove the lore. I do want to point out it's very important that you make sure that you keep a course admin option on your navbar. Uh, by default, it's a standalone, but it also appears in class tools. Make sure you keep it in at least one of those locations. It only shows for teachers of the course, it does not show for students, but if you remove it, you will uh, not have the ability to get into things like changing your navbar, home pages, class list, and other items that you will need to manage for your course. You can, of course, where um, underneath it says links, you can change this to a text-based navbar if you went wish simply by unchecking the box. If you want to add items to your navbar, then you can go ahead here and you're going to select the Add Links button. When you click Add Links, another dialog box is going to open. From here, you're going to see all of the ones that you can add. They're in alphabetical order. So these would be preset ones. Perhaps I want to have a, a box specifically for taking um, for my announcements. So I could go ahead and add that to my nav bar. I also have system links that I could check out, or I can create a custom link. An example of a custom link that you might want to add to your nav bar for students would be a direct link to our Student Introduction to Digital Tools website. This is found on class link, but maybe you want to have that also in your course. So I'm going to go ahead here on my class link page. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to copy my URL. I'm then going to go back here to Brightspace. I'm going to click the create custom link. And I'm going to drop that URL here where it tells me to do that. I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. So I might say student page. I can change the behavior. It's always best to set this to open in a new tab or a new window. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and then just hit create. Once I hit that create button, I'm brought back to my entire list of links that I can choose from. By default, these are going to be listed in alphabetical order and my new one is, should be listed here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the S's since I called it student help page. And sure enough, here it is. So I'm going to go add my little checkbox and hit add. Now, this custom link that I've added is going to be here for my students to easily access. Once you have all of the links on your navbar that you're going to want your students to have access to, the last thing that you might want to do is actually just change the order in which they appear. So to do this, this is a simple drag and drop. So maybe I want to go ahead and move my course admin here towards the end so I can drop that there. Uh, maybe I want class tools towards the end as well. Once I'm happy with the order in which my uh, navigation items will appear to my students, I can go ahead and scroll down and hit save and close. I will then be taken back to my course homepage and you can see that my new modified navbar will be in play for my students as well as for myself as the teacher.